Hi, I'm Richie from The Review Room. Since we did our iPhone versus Galaxy S3 comparisons, we've had a huge amount of requests to return with the Galaxy S3 updated with Jelly Bean from Samsung. And here we have it. Samsung have retained their familiar TouchWiz overlay, so swiping is the same as before. Project Butter has definitely made a difference with the response on the screen. It feels very snappy and it's very, very smooth. Now the first visual change we see is the notification menu at the top. When we swipe down, we now see the date and time on the top left hand side. The toggles below that and the brightness bar from the last ICS update still remains. But the notifications are now much richer in detail. Now the first notification is expanded and you can collapse that one and expand others or delete individual notifications with a swipe. Now from there, I can now action things within notifications, like share a screenshot to any number of networks. Now when pressing down the home button for a period, you get the recent apps that you can scroll to, and then something new underneath. There are three graphic symbols which give you the task manager, a Google service, and a bin to delete the recent list. Now the G is actually for Google Now, the latest mobile service integrated into Android and available only on Jelly Bean. Now it essentially tells you pertinent information based on what it learns from you. For example, it will show you the weather, distance and time to work, scores for teams you've searched for, even translations when you're in another country. Now it takes some time to build a profile, so there's not much there now. The other important service here is Google Voice, which is a voice service similar to S Voice and Siri. Now interestingly, S Voice still exists on the S3, but Google Voice is Google's own answer to voice recognition. We'll be testing that against Siri in another video. However, with Google Voice comes another interesting service, which is offline voice input. So even if, in, even if you're not online, you can still enter dictation. For example, add notes to S-Memo, write an email, or dictate a document. Now, resizable widgets is another Jelly Bean feature. You can resize widgets to fit into different spaces, and apps will get out of the way to accommodate new widgets on the screen. Now, speaking of home screen, there's a new feature that allows you to switch between two very different views of the GS3 home screens. Now in settings, there is a home screen mode. Now the basic mode is the one we all know, with widgets, apps, everything you'd normally see. The easy mode is for people who are just finding their way around a smartphone. So you just select easy mode, press apply, and you have a much more simple layout with access to common tasks and settings right there on the screen without having to go into any menus. And then you can switch back to the basic mode and all of your previous widgets and home screens are there as you left them. Now in the settings menu, you might have noticed the blocking mode option. It acts as a filter. It only allows calls to come in from people you select from your contact list. You can set it to work at certain times of day or just toggle it when you want a bit of peace and quiet. The last thing I'll mention is a cool feature that was on the Galaxy S3 from launch and it's called pop-up video. Now this little tool lets you watch videos on top of anything else you have open. Now you can also adjust the size of it to make it smaller like a thumbnail or enlarge it. So all up, there are some very noticeable upgrades to the Galaxy S3. What do you think? Does this update now make the Galaxy S3 your smartphone of choice? Tell us what you think in the comments area below. Now, to see how the Jelly Bean Galaxy S3 compares in benchmarking to the iPhone 5, click over here. If you want to see the Jelly Bean Galaxy S3 with Google Voice up against iPhone 5 Siri, click over here. As always, we'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments area below. Please share this video with your family and friends Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Until next time. Jelly bean.